All right, a word of advice. Take it slow as we well know what's happening outside right now can make for a dangerous mix as we travel to and fro. ABC News Channel's Kimberly Howard live above the interstate in Springfield right now. Kimberly, tell us how it looks from where you're standing. Chantal, I see. Remember that wet, slushy stuff we saw today? Yeah, that's all solid now. And while it looks like some of the cars out here are taking it just a tad bit slower, other vehicles today and obviously didn't do that, causing a whole mess of problems. It's deceiving. It's not really a solid, solid sheet of ice. It's kind of a slushy. As the temperature teeters above freezing, drivers steer clear of ice, but not the accidents. This tractor trailer skidded on an exit ramp, sending crews on down into the dirt after it. Curtis Tomlin saw another accident in just his first few minutes out on the road. I seen one coming in into town. It was right on the Riverton Bridge, so the bridges are a little slicker than, than the solid roads. And perhaps the drivers much too confident for conditions. People running off the uh, side of the roads on the highway in the ditches. It's a busy day for Northside Towing Company. This white Toyota plowed through a highway sign on Veterans Parkway and then into a ditch, just one of dozens of calls. And they still keep coming in. We're just staying extremely busy and we're about an hour and a half, two hours on ETAs uh, right now and just trying to stay up. Trying to stay up, Kevin Smith called his son in for backup, but his truck got stuck too. But anyway, we got it all out and we're back up and ready to go again. With this advice for drivers. Have a blanket, uh, make sure they got plenty of fuel in their car to keep the heat uh, warm for them. received reports of anybody being seriously hurt in any of these accidents. But to keep it that way, here's some advice. Don't start or stop abruptly. That's how you can lose control. And if you do feel yourself losing control, make sure you ease off of that brake and actually turn into your skid until you feel yourself getting traction. And then you can keep that car going straight once again. If you do that, hopefully you will have safe travels this evening. Live in Sangamon County, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel. All right, Kimberly, thank you. And don't forget, you can check road conditions from home even before you leave the house. We have those links for you on our website. Taking a live look at road conditions right now, you can see exactly how it looks. Mostly green and yellow areas, which means just take precaution, but overall pretty good.